What if I told you that you can play PlayStation 3 games like Uncharted, God of War and even GTA 5 right on your Android phone? Sound crazy right? Well, it's real. In this video, I'm going to show you a mind-blowing PS3 emulator called RPCSX UI Android and trust me, this one will change everything. Fortunately, RPCSX emulator is an open source project and it's available on the official GitHub page. Simply visit the GitHub repo open the latest version and download the apk file then install it for your kind information rpcsx has auto update feature so you don't have to download the latest version again after installing the application launch the rpcsx emulator at the top bar you can see the rpcsx branding which is looks very decent the plus icon is used to add games in the left there is a hamburger menu that includes several options RPCSX required the PlayStation 3 firmware. The settings option allows you to tweak various configuration. The edit overlay section lets you manage touch controls. The system info displays your device specifications such as cores, GPU and drivers which are important while we are going to adjust the settings. Finally, there's the about section provides information about the emulator itself. And now let's install the firmware which is very essential components for running the ps3 games fortunately the official playstation 3 firmware is available on the playstation website so you can easily download it after download it click on the install firmware in the emulator and navigate to the folder where the file is saved after that it will take 10 to 20 minutes to compile the file it's dependent on your device so keep patient now let's add games click on the plus icon you will see two options either select the game directory or choose a single game. Navigate to the folder where your game are stored. RPCSX supports both ISO and PKG game formats. Make sure you are using your legally owned games. Piracy is strictly forbidden here for your kind information to compile the game file it will also take 5 to 10 minutes let's see the settings option open the settings option here you can see view internal directory where the rpcsx ui android stores data on your phone storage here is the option users is used to make a profile but this option is incomplete download channel is a very useful feature as i said before rpcsx ui android can automatically download download the updates so you don't have to download the apk manually anymore here are two channels available release and developer a release is a stable version while the development is the most latest version but may sometimes contain bugs you can also download gpu driver from github such as adreno tools driver now let's tweak some settings first head over to the advanced settings then open the core option in pp decoder we have the three options interpreter legacy most accurate but extremely slow interpreter a bit faster yet is still too slow for regular play recompiler llvm offers the best performance on the high-end device tweaking the thread count can ensure the better cpu performance through the optimum depends on your device start with two threads to four threads next option is vfs which stands for virtual file system here you can set this case which determines how much storage space will be used to store temporary game data then open the video settings here you can choose between opengl or vulkan as your rendering api set the resolution 720 into 480 for smoother gameplay set the aspect ratio to 16 to 9 frame rate can go up to 120 frames per second but i recommend you keeping it on auto set shader processing to low to avoid crashes enable the both right color buffer and right depth buffers to fix graphical glitches enable vsync eliminate screen tearing and turn on stretch mode for the full screen gameplay keep the resolution scale at 100 if you see it's still lag then lower it to 50 open vulcan there are many advanced features available open custom driver and 
enable turbo mode, you should also enable performance overlay. This will show frame rates, GPU load, and other important states. As for the remaining options, they are already well optimized. You don't need to change them. Lastly, there are more powerful features you should definitely use. Click on the plus icon to either download the GPU driver from the service or install it from your phone storage. However, this feature is limited to Snapdragon device and that's just the start. PS3 gaming on Android is real. The RPCSS UI Android makes it possible. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe for more emulator content and comment which PS3 games we want to play first.